Farms for City Children, the charity that Claire, my wife and myself, began 35 years ago. Um, it wasn't an accident. I think it was something that was going to happen. It happened really because of two things. My wife's experience as a young child wandering the lanes of, of Devon and loving the countryside. And I think growing up with the belief that she'd been very privileged and this should be the kind of experience that every child should have. Every child's right, really. And then we both became teachers later on. And both of us were aware of the fact that school was failing an awful lot of people. And one of the reasons we identified it as failing so many people was because whatever was happening at school wasn't touching these children. It was just going over their heads, and they were failing. So we went to university departments of education and psychology and said, look, hang on, are we right in thinking that what children need above everything is to feel useful, needed? So we came up with a notion of a, f a farm, but not just a farm that you could visit, a farm where they would be the workers. They would come down and they would milk the cows, they would um, move the sheep, they would help with everything that you could uh, help with within the bounds of safety. It was all a bit romantic and really rather silly, but we, a bit Rousseauistic, I think, probably is the, 